This water producing technology is making a stop in Austin this weekend before heading to Puerto Rico to help hurricane victims. But the man behind it all, Moses West, still needs your help. He's here this morning to talk more about what you can do to help him with this great project. Good morning, Mr. West. Good morning. And for people who don't know, you know, we've done a few stories on you and what it is you do. But for those people who don't know, talk to us about your invention. The invention, what it is, it's a machine that pulls moisture out of the air. Um, water comes in three, three forms. Yeah, we learned this in second and third grade, but everybody <laughs> right. forgets it. But I never forgot those little pictures of everything, the uh, little cows and everything in the field and the mountains and the water evaporating from the sea. And that's called the hydrologic cycle. Mm -hmm. And now our hydrologic cycle has been disrupted somewhat due to increasing uh, temperature of the planet, mm -hmm. the evaporation. So the water is it's disrupted. But here's a technology, what it does is it pulls moisture out of the air, condenses it, one of the three forms, liquid, solid, and a gas. It takes it in the gaseous state and produces industrial quantities of water. Wow, and I mean, this is just, how did you come up with the idea to really do this and make this, you know, kind of speed up nature, so to speak, to make more water? Well, I, I, I looked at what other companies were doing and I saw some of the machines that they had out there and all the machines they had, it, it, it took in too much power. So when I first started to present this to venture capitalists, yes, and they- uh, <laughs> Well, you gotta get the money to make it somewhere. <laughs> right, the, um, part of the problem was it used too much energy. Mm -hmm. So then I, I started researching other methods of how to do it and I found a research company and a partner with them and we got it down to a place where it could make water at the lowest power consumption. And then I put it together to make mass quantities of water. And then I got with the Texas A&M, uh, Dr. 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 Les Shepard, and we crunched out some numbers and calculated on what we could do after we finished the pilot pro project with the Texas Commission of Environmental Quality. Mm -hmm. And it's an incredible numbers on using excess power. It comes out to four trillion, 100 billion gallons of water annually, what you could produce with this technology wow. using waste energy. Wow, I mean, it's amazing because we think about the water shortage that you know they're projecting for our state, for our area. You, you take all this and you've created the Water Rescue Foundation. Tell us about the foundation and your mission to go to Puerto Rico. The, the, the Water Rescue Foundation, I started this because you can't wait for, you can't wait for government grants and loans to, to provide emergency assistance to people. Uh, there's, enough, there's enough donors out there that want to see this take place and happen that understand this technology mm -hmm. much more than some of the people that uh, administer our government. So they've seen this and the best way to do it is to donate to this foundation. My manufacturers, we build the equipment and we give it to the people that need it. Some of the um, uh, emails that I get from Puerto Rico, once they see what they've seen on KBU, which has gone kind of viral, uh, I get emails every day, please send a machine to my town. So we have the large units and the small units and all the donations that come in, we continue to build these machines and give them away to people that need them. That, I mean, that is fantastic and what a way to bring fresh, clean water to, yes. to people. I mean, it is absolutely fantastic what, what you're doing. Thank you so much for joining us. And so guys, don't forget, it's called the uh, Water Rescue Foundation, correct? That's who you can check out, Google them so you can get more information. Or of course, go to kvu.com because we have plenty of information. And if you want to check out the atmospheric water generation technology, you want to see it for yourself today. Well, Moses will be having a show this weekend. He'll be at the VFW Post 8787, which is located at 500 VFW Road so they can head on out there, meet you, shake your hand, and hopefully give you some money so we can get more of these machines out there and make them water for people, right? Yes, I'll be happy to show them around, give them a tour <laughs> of the machine, show you parts of it no one else has seen, and explain to you how it works. Perfect, sounds great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Jenny, we'll talk thank back over to you. Thank you for having me. Added something to the coolant lines that played with the electronics. 
And that's not typical vandal stuff. Less than a week after bringing free water to Flint, Moses West says the green machine he designed to do just that was vandalized. Once they broke into the machine and uh, uh, they destroyed the, the generator, very technical, they knew what they were doing. It wasn't just, you know, random vandalism, not at all. Uh, they destroyed the battery, uh, they put metal in the fuel system. I saw that when I was cleaning the fuel filter. West is a military veteran who travels across the country to areas in crisis, bringing a machine he designed like this one that literally makes fresh water out of thin air. He put the green machine out for people along Saginaw Street on Thursday and was hoping to make a big impact. He says before the vandalism, they were giving hundreds of people free water every day. You got to look at uh, I'm making anywhere from 1,200 to 2,000 gallons of water a day. You give it away for free. That's a that's that's a lot of that's a lot of money out of somebody's pocket someplace. Wes says that he can only speculate as to why someone would try to destroy something that was just trying to help the community. Wes says he hopes to have the green machine back open and working again soon with some anti-vandalism features added as well.